You are watching Psychic Witch Talk, hosted by Christine Rossi and Diana Rachel, shot at the Mystic Dream in Walnut Creek, California. Um, hi, I'm Christine Rossi, and I'm here with Diana, who's on the other side of the camera tonight. Hello, I get to be the ghostly voice. There we go. And um, we are the hosts of Psychic Witch Talk here in Walnut Creek at the Mystic Dream in California. And uh, we're doing a, a quickie, so to speak, <laughs> which is talking about um, advanced reading of candles uh, after you've done a, a seven day candle. I've got a whole, uh, you can see them in the picture or not. Um, and this one here, I'm just gonna go through them one at a time. Um, this one here is a Michael candle and uh, the person was asking for protection from Michael. And if you look at the actual see-through part of the candle, you can tell that there was some issues that they did work through. And then you have all of this wax that's here on the one side. And so this is not like one of those clean burn, it's all good. Uh, this is, uh, for this particular person, um, because this is the front of the candle, this is telling me that they've got her back on all of this. And so if, if you look at the rest of it, it's clear through here. And the candle is burned pretty darn clean from this point down. But they had her back in this protection situation. Okay, and what about that little bit of leftover wax? Um, I It's been my experience that it is rare for a candle to burn completely clean. Uh, it does happen, but it's been, it's been pretty rare. This little tiny bit here that's on the right side, I would say um, if you wanted to, you could say that there's a little bit more and it has to do with her being more assertive uh, because it is on the right side of the candle, so it would be on the male side of the candle. So she needs to be a little more assertive about protecting herself and not just doing candle magic. And so that would be this one, because the other one's clean on the other side. So um, that's this candle. We'll put that one down. Filthy Rich, this is a money draw. And with this one, it's like, oh, good grief. <laughs> they had a lot of issues um, it, about money, a lot of issues. Just sitting across the room, I get the sense that that candle came very close to cracking. It did. Um, I, I can even, I can almost see a, an internal crackling in that. Mm -hmm. You can see it on this side here. Um, however, if you look at the bottom, I don't know if you can see that or not. Yes, you can. can. Okay. Um, it, there isn't any wax on this one, but there is some herbs and sparkles that are left behind. So eventually, they burned pretty darn clear. However, we have like little specks and things right in the front. I don't know if that's clear on the camera or not. Uh, if you want to bring it closer, you can. Yeah. And do our extreme close-up involves walking it over for a close-up. Just uh, tell me when. So this way. Go other. Yeah, there we go. Hold it still. There we go. Okay. So yeah, we can see that pretty clearly. Okay. So those little specks um, tell me that this person still has some minor issues that they need to work through. It might be their attitude towards money, um, that they have maybe a lack attitude and they're not being grateful for what they do have before moving forward. Um, it looks like it is one, two, three, four. So I would, I would say four, four little tiny bumps in the road kind of thing before they get where they want to be. And of course, filthy rich. Everybody would love to be filthy rich, but... <laughs> this was they just needed money and that's why they were burning this and so there's there's a few little obstacles in their way but nothing major I'm looking at the two of these and it's a wisdom of Solomon this is the wisdom of Solomon candle I picked this for a demonstration because if you I'm going to walk the candle that up one again. cracked I can see that too <laughs> yeah uh, we'll walk over this way like that. Okay, and raise it, Go, bring it up, up a little bit. There we go, stop. Uh, and rotate it slightly this way. So, okay, that's good. Okay, so okay, the kids so, at home can see that. So the this is on the back side of the candle. Okay, lower that down. 
So you can see that markings stop there. So you can see the markings where there is stuff. Yeah, okay. absolutely. And I'm going to keep rotating the candle around. Okay, let me just lower it down a little bit. The camera lens is roughly somewhere. <laughs> okay, not. yeah, center is good. Okay. All right. Okay. And so there's there's things that are here as well. And this is on the left side of the candle. All right, this would be the front of the candle. And this actually back here, the way the person put the label on, it is to the right. So they have some um, issues with uh, balance in their own internal male and female. Okay. Yeah, well, and I'm seeing a very clear butterfly in one of those pieces, which mm -hmm. is about rebirth and fear of mortality. Which one, which one? This one here, do you think? No, it's the towards one? the top. Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah you see the butterfly. Now I see the butterfly. Which has right to do with, you know, mortal fears. Yeah, which is right right here. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, again, uh, if you look at the center, there's a little bit of wax, but hardly anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, when I look from this direction, it doesn't look like there's anything at all. Maybe it's the red glitter, but it's kind of making me hungry for lobster. <laughs> Because it's red. Yes. <laughs> yes, food. So that's the, the Wisdom of Solomon one. But if you look at it, there's a ring all the way around on the top. All the way around. Mm -hmm. So with that, it's just a few little things. It's not too bad, but there's a lot of interesting things that are going on in one candle. Yeah. Well, <laughs> with it's... butterflies and... Um... Well, and it's starting a brainstorm for me of doing a combo of Wisdom of Solomon with Crown of Success. Because mm -hmm. that just seems like a really good idea right now. Yeah, I think so. I think that sounds really good. Uh, so, oh, here's a good one. This is a Ganesh, and we all love Ganesh. Ganesh is a road opener for... In, in many ways, whether it's a road opener for love, road opener for uh, professional, mm -hmm. uh, just in your life in general. And you look at it and you go, so big deal, you know, it didn't, there's not that much going on here. But there is a cloudiness that goes through the whole thing, and I'm going to walk it up again, because it's really not too easily seen. Is this, this about way. right, this way? Yeah, and actually, no, this way. <laughs> here. Okay, you do it. I'm just going to do... So if I can get out and then turning it slowly around from there. So you can see where the cloudy is and especially contrasted against the label because we're looking for those little burn marks and the shapes and the burn it, marks that's too. That's what I'm going for is the shapes and the burn marks. Okay, we've got a good shot of it. Good, okay. So with the end, I'm gonna take it back a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a lot of wax left. So I would definitely burn another one. Um, if somebody came to me and asked me, um, what do you think? I would say, well, it looks like uh, the majority of your stuff is done, but you've still got a ways to go, and I would burn another candle. I would also do a reading before they decided to burn another candle to see where the obstacles are exactly lying for them. Because it looks like um, most of the smudge uh, burn marks it looks like there's at least two or three, and they are in front of, in the front of the candle. So that definitely tells me there's more work that, to be done. And one last one, uh, which is an uncrossing. Um, and these are a very, very popular candle. <laughs> we can't seem to hardly keep them on the shelf here at the Mystic Dream. Um, with this particular candle, uh, if you can tell, I'm gonna turn it around. Yeah, you can see that one pretty clearly from far away. So, Good. Turn around. You can see the cloudiness. You can see some little bit of glitter that's up in here. A tiny char mark near the label. But then you can also see that it clears up towards the end. Yeah. And so the, I would say that this is a successful, but I would also burn again because there's a scorch mark here and one behind, so still more work to be done. So I would do another uncrossing, uh, like an uncrossing bath, and another candle, and see how that one burned to mm -hmm. make sure. And so there you have it. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Go online to book an appointment with Christine, Diana, or other members of the Mystic Dream Psychic Guild at themysticdream.com.